currently doing a master's in uh, teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. So let's begin. So here are the contents. There are four parts. Let's first start with a brief introduction of the School of International Education. Um, the school was established in the year 2000. And of course, we're all international students. So the school is in charge of enrolling all the students and registering them and providing Chinese language courses, and it also has um, some master degrees program. So now let's talk briefly about the Chinese language courses. Um, so when you enroll in the course, you'll get reading, speaking, listening, and comprehensive classes, and it's five times a week, so it's very intensive. And apart from the core course, you get some um, elective courses that you can participate in, which are very interesting um, because they can, um, let's say, better, we get a better understanding of the Chinese culture. Um, for example, they are Chinese painting, Chinese calligraphy, um, there were some Chinese musical instruments. And of course, you also have HSK courses to prepare you to take the HSK exam, which is very important for us uh, international students to prove our Chinese level. Mm. Now let's talk about the activities that the School of International um, Education provide. As you can see, they are very varied. They can be, for example, trips. We took a trip to the Summer Palace in 2019. Then, as I said before, we have calligraphy class. We have characters class, how to write characters and the meaning behind characters. Um, we also had a very nice activity, which was the Crabapple Blossom Festival, which I'll talk a bit more in a few minutes. And as one of our, uh, my colleagues mentioned, we also have these sports events, and then we also had a trip to Gansu, uh, which is in Lancho province. And of course, we also celebrate a mid autumn festival. And we, the last trip we did was a trip to the Great Wall. Uh, it's a section that is in this city, in Tianjin. So I want to talk briefly about 